Have you ever looked at a computer advert and seen 802.11 in the specifications? What is 802.11? It's basically a set of standards that define communication for wireless local area networks. The details regarding communication for Wi-Fi. Now normally there's a letter that's attached to it with the specification. Now that letter indicates the speed and the frequency of the wireless network. Let's have a look at some of the options. 802.11a, if there's an A in the specification, that normally tells you that the speed can max out at 54 megabits per second, but it's probably going to be more in the range of 6 to 24. There's the letter B. If it's 802.11b, we're looking at more 11 megabits per second. 802.11g is slightly more consistent at 54 megabits per second. And what's nice about this is that it's backwards compatible. In other words, it can be used with devices that have 802.11a and 802.11b. Then there's 802.11n, and that has a lot higher speeds. It can max out at about 600 megabits per second, but it's usually about 100. So those are the details about the different speeds based on the different specifications. Let's say you would really like to buy this Android TV box and you see the specifications listed here and you have a wireless router at home to connect to the internet. You are wondering, I don't want to buy this device unless I know for sure that it can connect to my wireless network. So you look at those specifications and you don't see the word Wi-Fi anywhere. Ah, but you do see 802.11b slash g slash n. So that tells you that yes, is Wi-Fi enabled and you can specify what speeds are available for this device. Two ways that you can support the channel include clicking on the subscribe button and sharing us with your friends so that we can show them computer terms too. Look at our playlist to see other topics and remember don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.